Hey guys, it's Carmen here, and I'm here on the uh, terrace of the house where I'm at in Pagino, and I'm just uh, doing some more work. Um, it's coming along slowly but surely. Um, I finished the waterproofing on the deck before I took my trip to Toronto, but uh, since then I've done a little bit more work. I've um, finished sealing the insides of the walls, as you can see. So that's all done, and I um, painted one side of the upper part of the house and um, this area here. So that's all like, this is all new paint. Um, there was water coming in along that wall. Every time it would rain, it would uh, run down that wall and go in a big crack that was along the uh, ground there and then right into <laughs> where I sleep at night. So that's, uh, that's sealed and that's waterproofed, um, that wall there. This wall here, the house, that's uh, waterproofing that I did there on top of the roof. If you can see that, there is uh, water coming in there, so that's sealed. And I've had a heavy rainfall since and nothing has come in, so praise the Lord. But um, this wall here, I'm still cleaning it and uh, needs to be painted. And uh, now I'm just doing some work on the outside, the exterior. At the back here, there's like a little canopy that goes over the back and it doesn't really do much other than provide some coverage for rain and some shade. And um, it had like waterproofing on it and the waterproofing was old and I saw that water had gone in. So I stripped that off and then I found like there's a skim coat of concrete. That's what you see up here. And it was cracked, water had gone through. And if you can see there, that's where there's um, the steel, the structural steel, the rebar that um, has been rusted and it's sort of corroded and it pops up the concrete and it destroys the, uh, the surface. And there's some areas where I could see it's been patched a long time ago. So I'm not sure how long ago this work was done. But a similar job was done already here, but it's time to do it again, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't planning to do all this work here on this section, but uh, once you start opening things up, um, you know, best to do things right. And, um, you know, that way you don't have to think about it. And I was just thinking of, <laughs> there was some old waterproofing there. I was thinking about sealing over that and just leaving everything underneath. But once I started to uh, look into it a little bit more, I said, you know what, let's just get rid of this and do it properly because that's uh, that's what we should do. So uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna put another skim coat. I'm gonna use, um, it's called non-shrink grout and it's very good for water penetration as well. And um, first I'll have to treat the steel, whatever steel that I expose, because I'm gonna continue to expose the steel where I know it's uh, rusted underneath and then put a special paint on it. So a lot of work and that's just that section there. And then there's this, wall on this side that needs to be done if you can see there's uh, more steel in the wall and this side's a huge project which i think this little piece is giving me a practice run for but you know as i've been doing this work and i've enjoyed getting back into this work because um you know you go out you preach you're sort of doing spiritual work and um it's nice to have a project like this because um, it's like you get to unwind in a sense and at the same time it's just like the Lord uses these moments to speak to you and um, teaches you lessons through the work you know and um, something that I think the Lord has been and continues to teach me through the work I've been doing at the house here I think I've mentioned it in a previous video that um, you know the house needs to be in order in need um, in order for anything good to come out of it and um, you know we are um, each and every one of us who believe we are the temple of the Holy Spirit we're the dwelling place of God so we are in a sense a house you know the church like a local fellowship church is in the sense a house of God and you know in all things things should be in order in order for anything good to come out of it and I guess pertaining to our individual lives, you know, and this is what I've been thinking about as I've been working here. You know, there's been a few times where I run into an issue here and I'm tempted just to do something quick to just get it out of the way and cover it up. Like basically a band-aid solution. 
But uh, the way that I've been, I think most of my life, I try to do things right most of the time, not that I always have. But uh, I'd rather just do things right the first time and then it's sort of off your mind. You don't have to worry about it. And that's the way it's been here. Um, there's been a few things that I started doing and it's just like you open something up and just like you don't want to deal with it. And just like, okay, you get tempted to maybe cover it up and do a Band-Aid solution. But like this, what I'm doing right now. Um, but it's better to do things properly. And uh, if it means a little bit more work now, it means, you know, that in the future you can have peace and there's less work in the future to do. So all this is, uh, you know, just material that I have to now bring downstairs and uh, I'm just making a pile at the side of the house. And then eventually I'll call somebody to take away. But it reminds me, and this is where, you know, the lesson comes of the spiritual work that the Lord wants to do in our lives. You know, there comes a time if you believe right now, if you know the Lord Jesus, if you've been born again, that, you know, just things become new. The Lord, it says that he gives us a new heart. He puts a new spirit within us. And, you know, things change. And sometimes it's a drastic change. And I think in my life, it was a pretty drastic change. Because when I came to repentance, I already had a pretty good knowledge of, uh, you know, of Christianity. And, uh, you know, enough about the Bible that I had learned, you know, growing up that um, when I finally decided to repent and come to the Lord, I'm like, okay, I don't want anything else. So, you know, it was a pretty, pretty drastic change in my life. There was a divided line. I remember um, October 5th, 2014, that, you know, my life before then and after then completely different. And after that change, it's just like, it's an amazing thing. It's like, you're a new person. Like oh, the Bible is clear. It says, old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. But as we continue our walk with the Lord, he starts to go deeper. He starts to go deeper to things that perhaps are deep rooted within us that usually we didn't even know were there. And he wants to do that work. And he wants to do a deep and profound work in our life, not just, you know, a one moment change and then it's done. And, you know, that's why I always see that salvation is a process um, that we're saved at one point that we are being saved and there is a future moment where, where we will be saved and it's and it's complete and it's done and you know there's no there's no chance of uh, of turning back because we are in incorruptible flesh at this point in glory with the lord that's when our salvation is complete when the lord jesus appears in the sky that's when our salvation is complete, whether we're alive and we're changed or whether we've been in the grave and we receive our new body. That's the moment that salvation is complete, you know, as far as I see what the scripture says. But until at least we reach the grave, <laughs> the Lord wants to do a work in our life. And, you know, we can be tempted to reject what the Holy Spirit wants to do in our lives, even as believers. And, you know, the Lord wants to go deep in some areas that maybe are uncomfortable. Maybe we have been avoiding. And, you know, as to do the job right, sometimes we've got to get our hands dirty. And we got to remove layers and we got to get down to the root of the problem. The root of the problem here for this, um, for this little balcony here is that water has gone inside it's gotten to the steel, the steel has rusted, it expands, and then it starts breaking the concrete. And if that's left, and after, you know, rain penetrates it over and over again, eventually this whole piece of balcony would be lost, you know, because you're not dealing with the root of the problem. And the root of the problem, as I said, is a steel that is deep embedded in the concrete. And I see it similar in our lives, that there's things in our lives that are deep rooted, they're embedded, perhaps something from even when we were children, that when we're born again, yes, there is a change, we are a new creation, the Spirit of God is within us, but some of those strongholds can still be there. And the Lord wants to go deep and He wants to uproot those strongholds that we would be completely free. And that's the process of sanctification that the Lord wants to complete in each and every one of our lives. We have to allow him to do that work. And sometimes it's uncomfortable, but it takes humility before God. 
it takes a willing heart and an open heart. And just to acknowledge that, you know what, maybe there is something there that needs to be worked on. And once we're open to it, once we're acknowledging it to the Lord and asking Him to do it, He will do it. How it happens, that's up to the Lord. There's all different ways that the Lord works and we cannot even put God in, you know, any sort of confines as to how He works. But He will do the work. But the point is acknowledging it. And that's what's the hard part sometimes. And even acknowledging it to others, because that's where it starts. When we can be open with others, others that we trust and, uh, you know, can help us in some of these strongholds and struggles, whatever they may be. And uh, once we allow the Lord to do the work, um, He'll do it. So, yeah, there's lessons that we learn through just day-to-day -day things. And um, as we have a willingness and open heart to hear from the Lord, He'll, he'll teach us and train us. And um, there is uh, a profit in everything that the Lord has us doing. So I just thought I'd share that, but uh, please pray for me and I'll keep you in prayer. And um, yeah, I've just been taking some time the past little while. I've done some fasting and praying and just seeking the Lord for His will. And I just have peace and clarity just to continue forward at this time in uh, Pacino, Sicily, and the Lord willing, um, anywhere else that he might bring me, whether it be in the surrounding area or the Lord willing, if there's uh, perhaps in the future, some other places in Europe, um, the Lord knows. But uh, yeah, by the grace of God, he is faithful. And um, you know, in the times where we are going through struggles, where things aren't so clear, where there's confusion, the enemy, tries to throw us off track, just continue to stay focused, continue to stay steadfast, continue to stay your mind on the Lord, His promises, and uh, don't change course unless you know you've heard from the Lord that it's time to change course. And um, that's it. God bless you. Have a great day and uh, be well in the Lord.